Hi, Kate. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, Good. how are you? I'm all right. So tell me about this love story, because it's one of the things that was the biggest constant in uh, Reagan's political life, but it's not talked about as much as some things. There wouldn't have been a President Ronald Reagan without a Nancy Reagan. I mean, she didn't make policy, policy decisions, but she protected him. Their love and the intimacy they had was uh, everything. And uh, they had an intimacy that uh, the rest of the world, it was just theirs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that strength of, of having a relationship like that, it really brought out their best selves, I think, in both of them. Yeah, I think, I think, you know, they call them the power couple because they were really a unit. They were a partnership. And, but I think everybody's like yourself is fascinated with this couple because they were so almost, you couldn't penetrate this circle that they, there were two halves of a circle and, and, but they, they relied on each other and they, you know, they had each other's back and um, their love was very uh, intense, but I also think that that is what catapulted him to become uh, the man he became as president because of Nancy's support and belief in him and someone that he could trust, that he could talk to. They may not always agree, but I think the fact that he could, he believed in her and their love for each other is what, you know, it's a big, it's the heart of the film, to be honest. So in your research, what do you think it was that drew them to each other and welded them together so tightly? Um, well, I think he was broken when they met. And he even said, I would have lost my soul if Nancy hadn't come into my life. And I think he he lost faith in in marriage and believing that he could find someone uh, that that he could trust and that he could let in because, you know, he had a protective uh, uh, shield on after his first marriage failed. And I think Nancy, he realized, and it took him a little longer. I think Nancy was all in, but I think, uh, once he realized that Nancy was truly, uh, his, his partner and the love of his life and, and someone who would protect him and be there for him. I think that was just what grew. And that's why he wrote her all these beautiful love notes every day. And, there was a book published about it. Uh, I love you, Ronnie. Yeah. You know, R Reagan was the first divorced president mm -hmm. uh, that we've had. And, you know, uh, it just really kind of points out about that a relationship, a good relationship, uh, what it can do for your life. You know, the relationships that's also rooted uh that God is in the relationship as well. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, you know, and uh, relationships could bring out the best or the worst in us. And uh, with Nancy, it was definitely the best. He's sort of, I think about it, kind of an example of second chances or even third, because he got a great yeah. second That's chance at marriage. Right. He had a great second career and then that flopped. And then he had kind of a third career as president. So what does that say to both of you about taking a chance after after failure? I I think it's you got to be careful what you ask God for because he just might give it to you. And he always gives it to you in a way that you go, oh, no, I didn't mean that. <laughs> and um, it's just you got to be ready for it. I think, you know, we, we all have a purpose. And sometimes, like you said, one door closes, another one opens, but they say rejection is God's protection. And so in a weird way, I think there's, there was a purpose and it wasn't what he thought it was, but it became something else that was even greater. And, um, and Nancy believed in his purpose. So, and his greatness. So, um, I, that's, I, I think getting those second chances that we, thank God we do. <laughs> Man plans, God laughs. That's right. That's right. And I liked, you know, the story of Reagan and his uh, and Nancy, and uh, and the journey. That was very important uh, to have good films out there, and this could be a nice film for people to see.
What did you think about the idea of framing it with someone who would have been Reagan's op opposition and yet respected him at the same time? Well, I think uh, I think you see this character was put on the responsibility of seeing Reagan, following his career, and making judgments about his character and reporting that to the Soviet hierarchy. That's what his job was. So he had he had this focus and these folders that he created to uh, share what he had learned. Well, that's a great that's a great person to tell the story, isn't it? Mm -hmm. He's the guy that's really determining every little step along the way because he sees this guy coming and he sees there's leadership ability in him. He, they see, he sees how he confronts this, how he does this, and he makes this report. And in the process, he becomes very uh, enamored of, of this man's uh, character and ability. And, uh, and then finally, he's, he's his fan as he sees what happens to the Soviet Union because of him. He's so, explaining Reagan's life to this young man. So yeah. if you were to describe Reagan to a millennial or a Gen Z American today, well, how would you describe him? I'd say that he was a person who was full of positive energy and, and knew exactly what our country was based in and the structure of our country based on the, the founding principles that were given to us by very great men. He knew all of that. And he knew that we had to get back to that uh, because we'd lost our way a little bit at that time he came into the presidency. And uh, and so uh, I would say, take a, take a look at this guy and what he did. He did it right. And he mm -hmm. gave us, it was a great blessing for the world. And he also came back more than once from failure. Yeah. Well, like, what is it that Churchill said that fail, you know, success is not final, failure isn't fatal. It's only the will to continue that well, counts. God bless you for saying that. That's fantastic. Uh, well, Winston Churchill said, I wouldn't take credit. Close no, enough I understand, anyway. But Words to that effect. No, no, I understand th that, but, but that you bring that up so mm -hmm. that you're attentive to people who know, who are wise in positions of leadership. That's, uh, the, he's a great man, Winston Churchill. And, uh, and a few failures himself along the way. Oh, absolutely. There's nobody that doesn't have failures. We're here, you know, we're not uh, complete people. We, we have, we're learning, all of us. Every, every one of us is here to learn something, to grow stronger and, to, and wiser. And, uh, and we have our, and sometimes the, the best information comes when we fail. Mm-hmm. We, we learn the most from our failures, perhaps. As long as you can pull yourself back up and keep going. That's it. Right. The, well, thank the you. Great, the great people are always uh, mm -hmm. tested, you know, and we, mm -hmm. we see our, we admire them because we identify that they, they have fragility and, and, uh, and they have to have, they have, have strength to overcome some of their uh, weaker, aspects, you know? Absolutely.